Hey guys, I'm LB. And just by pointing at this thing's chest, it apparently has... a thing. Like, what the heck? How was I supposed to know that was there? And there's the star. <laughs> so not only did we learn... that the pyramid emits its own blue signal, but we learned that there's a hidden thing there. Also, we could have gotten... um... We could have used the signal from here since we can get two of these things out, but whatever. <laughs> that is bizarre. And that would have been useful to know for solving some of these puzzles. But yeah, the pyramid emits a blue signal and this thing accepts it, I guess. Anyway, let's get out of here. We have ten stars. So... Where do we want to use our ten stars? In A or B? Let's say... Since we're already here, we'll do B. Oops, come on, let me in. Eh. Alright! Let's see what we can do. <laughs> All I'm doing is moving around this- this empty line space, that's not helping.
Nope, this is not working out for me. Oh, there we go. There we go. Well, I spent my ten stars. I'm gonna have to get ten more in order to unlock... Uh, the one in A. Oh, interesting. Huh. This is... odd. Okay. One of them has the play button, but... Let's get going, I guess. Orangutan. A medical journal has published a startling new theory about last year's sudden, shocking extinction of the orangutan. See our award-winning video of the last orangutan at this link. They suggest that the virus responsible was not a new mutation, but a very old one. An ancient virus buried until now in high-latitude permafrost, set free by global warming. The virus may have plagued the ancestors of the modern a great apes more than 100,000 years ago. Several important questions remain unanswered, including blah. More importantly, the study suggests that, based on samples taken from locations around the globe, the blah incubation, incubation period may blah. Oh. So it has a very long incubation period and the entire world is basically already infected. Right. If you liked this article, you may also like How to Really Avoid Heart Attacks You Won't Believe What's Living Under This Rock. Top 10 Amazing Science Facts, Oscar's Nip Explained. Oscar's Nip Slip Explained by Physics Video, How to Easily Beat Any Infection Sponsored Link. Ah, uh, clickbait. But yeah, so it sounds to me... Like, a virus... was unleashed due to global warming, and because of its long incubation period, we didn't even know about it in time. And so it already had infected pretty much every person on the planet by the time we found out about it. That's my theory, anyway. The ancient poets animated all sensible objects with gods or geniuses, calling them by the names and adoring them with the properties of woods, rivers, mountains, lakes, cities, nations, and whatever their enlarged and numerous senses could perceive. And particularly, they studied the genius of each city and country, placing it under its mental deity. Till a system was formed, which some took advantage of and enslaved the vulgar by attempting to realize or abstract the mental deities from their objects, thus began priesthood. Choosing forms of worship from poetic tales, and at length they pronounced that the gods had ordered such things. Thus men forget that all dei- sorry, thus men forgot that all deities reside in the human breast. Let's see, usernames. To Elon Ma Ian mailing list. Re usernames. It's uh working now. <laughs> oh wow. Ian Malcolm reference. Each iteration is assigned its own unique name drawn randomly from the database. At the moment, that's a database of online gaming handles, which does sound a bit odd, but I honestly don't think we should spend more time on this. We have unique identifiers, so we're fine. More than that is a luxury we can't afford. If we should happen to have everything else finished on time, I'll go back and generate a new database with more appropriate names. Right now, it just can't be a priority. Okay, it's a picture of the elevator in the tower with all the numbers unlocked. So what? Alright. How about we get going with the puzzles, after exploring a little bit? Oh my goodness, this one's actually wide open, like that other one. How far out can we go? 
I never thought I would figure out how to get to this place. It is beautiful, but somehow sad. By at. I wonder where the paint bucket is for this one. Well, you know what I like to do? I like to explore all around the edges before I get in uh, doing anything. Can we reach this? Nope. Why is this wall so low, and that one over there too? Interesting. What is this? Oh, it's a column. They call him LB. I am the words. The words are everything. Okay, Where I guess I can't go around the back of this. So much for that. What about the other side? I'll get to a puzzle. Right after I see what this thing is. Interesting. It's just a pile of rubble, I guess. Let's do this one. Peekaboo. Oh, it's the macro one. Uh, <laughs> I had to pick it first, didn't I? This is not making me happy right now. I hate these little robot dudes. Oh, are you serious? Don't go all the way to the edge. I could take advantage of that. First, let me get the laser thing out. ourselves standing here, right? And we give ourselves, uh, I don't know, say 20 seconds? Okay, that seems like enough. Okay, that wasn't too hard. Let's go across the way. Merry-go-round. How do I begin? Oh, like that, probably. There's that. What the heck is this for? That's scary. And that? Oh, these are worrying me. So... 
It's just juggling, basically. Hope so. Actually, let me check what's down here. And don't say blue. Ah, oh, you said blue. Oh, why did you have to say blue? Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Actually... First of all, let me get this set up... ...properly, right? Oh, really? There we go. Oh. Really? Okay, I understand now. And then... this is the last one, right? Oh no! You're killing me, Smalls! Hmm... how... how, 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 how? Oh, I know. Wait just a second... How am I supposed to make this happen? No windows. That's not good. Oh, I did this wrong. There we go. That should do it, I believe. Yes, yes, we've done it. That's it. We're done. Okay, we can look at the next puzzle, and then I- then we'll have to end the episode. Which, uh, how many puzzles were there again? Just three? Just three, and no star, I don't think. It would be kinda weird if you had to get stars to get stars. Cat's Cradle. What do we have here? This looks like a bit of a monstrosity, if you ask me. What the heck? There's... What? Huh? Uh... <laughs> oh my goodness, what the heck is... Well, okay then. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching, and if you hate this out of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!